Hello guys, I'm Anastasia and in this video I will be testing a Sun UV portable sterilizer. If you would like to know if this thing actually works, keep watching. Recently I received from Sun UV this LED sterilizer and it looks good. I, I mean it's small, it's portable. But according to what I know and to the laws of my country, this kind of equipment is not really a sterilizer. To sterilize implements, we need to use a dry heat, autoclave or a glass bead sterilizer. So it says that it kills 99% its sterilizing rate. UVC destroy the DNA of bacteria, kill all kinds of germs. Mm -hmm. So. I have a UV sterilizer already. It's way bigger and it's designed to keep a sterilized implements in it. So after you run a cycle with autoclave or dry heat sterilizer, your implements are already clean. And then you need to keep them somehow. One way is to keep them in a special package if you use packaging while sterilizing. But if you didn't and you sterilize them just like they are, then you need to keep them somewhere and UV sterilizer is exactly what it is. And this is what I've been using it for. But I guess this one is a bit different as regular UV sterilizer should be on all the time, like the fridge. And this one actually got a cycle. So it runs for three minutes and it also got a wavelength of 260 to 80 nanometers. So I'm really curious. The problem is it's not as obvious how to check it because we can apply gel polish and see how it lasts, right? But here we cannot actually see these bacteria. So I will definitely need more equipment to actually run some laboratory tests and see how it works. Let's get started. Okay, I'm ready. No, I probably will not need this. And let's do the unpacking. Hmm. UVC LED sterilizer, user's manual. Oh, that's nice. They have an instructions. Not, no, not only in Chinese. Okay, three minutes sterilization. Storage box with sterilization function to bring your clients a self and a healthy experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, actually it looks nice and pretty stylish. And we have LED diodes here. Here we have a plug and... And this is probably for some tools to be here. Let's try it. I probably will not need this at the moment. Switching on. I'm not sure I get it, what they say, but hopefully something nice. Okay, so I have the special indicators that measure UV light. So they're designed to actually do what we are going to do now, to test the UV sterilizer. So they have a mark and this scale means time. So it shows like depending on how much time you will expose and what usually indicators do they need to change their color so i think this is a pretty good test to run and according to the instructions we need to place them in in the center and two on the sides so let's try this we'll need one two and three and also according to our laws we need to write it down in a special journal and we need to keep the journal of this tests so when some inspection comes we can show to them like here you see we run through these tests as well and i also think this is a good test to try your uv lamps if you're using a uv lamp and it might also show if it's still curing or not but i'm not sure about the curing this one is spe specialized for uh, UV sterilizers. So we need to place one here like as close to the door as possible and two, oh wait a minute, please remove the film before. 
that was very thoughtful of you guys because I, I would have run it without removing. Okay. All right. Oh my God. Now you can see the camera. <laughs> okay. Now I hope it's going to work. Okay. So again, one should go right here as close to the door as possible. Another one will go right here and right here. Um, yes. Okay, let's do the, so they all face this way. And according to the instructions of the indicators, uh, they say that expose time should be at least like 5 15 minutes, but here in this sterilizer it says you only need 3 minutes. Well, we'll see. Anyway, any change in the indicator might show it. So let's close. Oh God, I wish I could see what's happening inside. Sterilizing. It says sterilizing. All right. So now we need to wait three minutes. And I really like this white blinking color indicator. Oh, it actually moves, so you can see approximately how much time you have left. I really like the design. I mean, it's white, which is white, I think, is the best color for equipment when you're working with nails because you cannot see the dust. It's easy to clean and it will match any style of the salon. And really hope that it will work, not only look good. Sterilizing over, that's what they said. So, drum roll. Um, well, looks like nothing really changed, but let's just to be sure, let's take a look at the original one. Well, yeah, not a single difference, but it doesn't mean that it's over because the instruction says like if it didn't change its color and now let's take a look maybe they slightly changed it no I think it's like exactly how it was well maybe there are some small green dots but no they also have it here so these are original ones the one we didn't use and this is the one that run through this uv sterilizer so it says that if it didn't work then we need to try it again and um, do the exposure like 1.3, 1.5 times more. But since they, it says that exposition time should be like at least five minutes and here we have three, I think what we should do is to do double time. Run it once for three minutes and another one more time for three minutes. So just to be sure that we are doing everything correct, I will put away those and let's use the new ones indicators. So once again, I put it close to the door and another one will go in the corner and another one will go in the corner. And now let's do double time, six minutes. Sterilizing. Sterilizing over. Sterilizing over. I don't know, for some reason I'm excited and but I want, really want it to work. How about you guys? What do you think? Work, not work. Okay, one, two, three. Um, mm, well, Okay, so here are original, original indicators and this is the one that we just run. I really don't think there's any difference. No, I don't think anything changed. Well, also I, while I was waiting, I read that it's supposed to be located right in front of the um, LED and here they are located not near the door, not near the corner, like here in the center. So that makes 
the light is like should be so in front means somewhere here do you think we should give it another try okay this time I'm desperate as you can see I just you know maybe I am doing something wrong so when something doesn't work I need to you know run all the possible tests that it wasn't my mistake you know it's too early to say this thing doesn't work maybe these indicators are also not really indicating this maybe it's not enough so now I will place them right here in the center and let's try it one more time Sterilizing over, finally. Okay, this is your last chance, Sunny V. Oh, it actually feels warm. Let's see. Well, I don't see any changes. I think I already, if I close my eyes, I can memorize these indicators. Yes, not a single change. So I ran five cycles which means 15 minutes five times more than the instruction says and still no change well probably i don't have enough equipment to properly test this but to me this is already enough because we use a similar well not exactly this kind of indicators but we have an indicators that can measure temperature and pressure we use them for dry heat sterilizer and autoclave and the color al always changes so that means it's actually working so what i'm saying is that i rely on this test i buy them from the company that does special medication tests so i don't have any reasons to not believe in them well just to be sure i will try uh, this indicator on the actual sun I think it will change its color but for now I think that this sterilizer is not reliable but well what you need to know it looks really good it's stylish I mean if it was really sterilizing it will be so nice but as you can see unfortunately it doesn't even show enough wavelength and probably does kill some bacteria, but definitely not 100% of them, not even 99%. So that's all I have for now. If I will find a way to run more tests and also I'm planning to talk with specialists. We arrived to a laboratory, it's called Digital Medicine, and let's test this one again with the special equipment. And also I would like to hear the opinions of the specialists. And finally, we will find out, does this thing really work? Let's find out. We are here at the company, it's called Electronic Medicine, and we are about to test this UV sterilizer with a special equipment. This equipment is called radiometer, so it measures uh, the power of the UVC. And it's pretty hard to measure it because here we have another UV sterilizer, and this one is way bigger. And this one is so small, but I still think we can test it, so let's try. So we need to put this part, this is the one that's going to measure it, right next to this diod. And it's a bit a challenge, because it works only when it's closed. Once we start to open it, it switches off. But I think we're still able to do this. So I'm trying to place it right in front Okay, and we see numbers here. So it says 3.82, so three something watts per square meter. Now let's see, well, I'm not a biologist, so I don't really know what this number means, but we have in instructions, it says that for some bacteria, you need to have four, you need to have six, but this one is in milliwatts and here we have watts so that makes it 3000 milliwatts so that means it kills all this kind of bacteria like much bacillus i'm not sure i can read all these names but anyways it shows that it actually does kill all of them but the radiometer is right in the diode right 
So I guess it shows that it works. So it's all about in the range of 360. Now let's compare and do the same test, run the same test, but for this one. This one is more professional. It's for the hospitals, but they also use it in um, nail salons and beauty salons. And here we can cl close it. And here the cycle is the same as three minutes. So let's run it. And 350, 356. Hmm. So, so again, that makes this equipment that it also does work. It kills all the bacteria that we want to kill. So you see, the this one is 10 milliwatts, and here we have three watts. So this one is definitely more powerful, but it and it also does their job. Oh, okay, so now we have 3.9. So as the time changes, this number also raise a little bit. Yeah, we still have cycle of three minutes. Okay, so that means that this sterilizer is actually working. And the first test that I run with indicators, uh, we thought that maybe they're not sensitive enough. So there was a very, very slight change in the color, but I guess it's just not enough. It's just designed for more powerful equipment, like for the hospitals. So from the tests run here, we can say that this one actually works. So you can use it to keep your clean and sterilized equipment. So this is how indicators look. This one is from Sun UV. This one is original. So we didn't work with this one. And this one is the microtid. So we can see here is a very slight change in color. It's like slightly more green. And this is like yellow. But here we can see that this line is definitely dark green. So this one, Microtid, is definitely more powerful. But this Sun UV, it also works. It's just not as powerful. So this was the test of the UV Sun UV sterilizer. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what kind of equipment do you use for sterilizing and keeping your implements clean. It was Anastasia. If this is your first time on my channel, do not forget to subscribe as I post educational tutorials just like this one every week. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.